So welcome back to another action-packed video on the Dale the Truck series. Today we're going to continue on with the cab corners and rocker panels, getting them cut out. So I hope you stick with us. So before we actually get started on today's video, I want to remind you guys that if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that I'm doing a pretty good job, that you guys like what you see, and that they could recommend it to other car guys. Also, consider subscribing. It's not a very big deal to you, but it is to me. If you guys are subscribers, that tells me again that I'm doing a good job and to keep up what we're doing. So guys, so without further ado, we're going to be taking the cutting wheel today and we're going to be cutting off all the bad stuff and uh, replacing it with new. So let's get into it. So where we left off in the last video is we were grinding off the paint looking for all the bad spots, the bad rusty spots, until we could find some good solid metal. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cutting on the good metal and getting rid of all the bad stuff. As you can see we got some holes here, we've got some holes here, got a little one right here, and then the same thing over here on the cab corner. So all we're going to be doing is hooking up the air to our cutoff wheel and we are going to be cutting all along here and anywhere that we see a bad rust panel. Again, in the last video I told you we're not cutting out the entire cab corner and rocker panel, just the bad sections and we're going to be patching in with the new panels that we have. So let's get cutting. So one thing I've learned in about the first 30 seconds of using this compressor with this cutoff disc, this cutoff disc requires a lot of air that that compressor does not have. All I've done was tried to cut right along here so far and of course it just zings through all this rust like butter but the metal the original metal is still by far so thick that the cutoff disc has an awful hard time going through it. Let me show you what I mean and you'll see just how quick this little compressor kicks on. So as you can see, I barely got about an inch added on to that cut and it kicked on already. And as soon as it kicks on, you really lose the big punch of air. Anyways, we're going to work through it and uh, see how we can uh, overcome this uh, lack of air in the air compressor. In real time, I've been working away at this probably for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And this is as far as I've gotten. I gained a couple inches here. And I did probably about four inches here. But that's not gonna do. I do have another one of those cutting discs at the shop and I'm gonna go grab it because I think maybe Part of the problem might be the old cutoff wheel. It's, I've tried oiling it, didn't seem to help. We'll go grab the other one, see if it works any better. Let's hope it does. And then uh, we'll come back to see if we can get these cut up. A few moments later. All right, so we've got the other cutoff disc and we have just tried it out to see if there's any difference. And let me tell you what, we just doubled the length of that cut in about 25 seconds. So now we can get to work and make some progress. We've got most of the rotten rocker panel cut out and there's a little bit more rust in there than I thought there was going to be. Let's take a look. As you can see, there's a couple of holes in the inner rocker that go all the way to the tiny hole that we thought we had initially. The structure of the truck is still good, 
but I don't trust in here to last like it should. So likely what we're going to end up having to do is cut out a majority of that inner rocker as well. And that rock goes all the way up inside there too. But I've got both pieces here and I think we'll be able to cut them to fit to whatever sections that we cut out and then we'll have to tack them back into place. So now what we're going to try and do is uh, get at that cab corner and see how far up the rock goes on it and that will determine our next plan of attack. So let's get that cut out and then we'll go from there. So it's looking as though we're in the same predicament here as we are here. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is cutting out the inner cab corner, which is this piece here, as well as this little lip, which is part of the rocker panel. So if I cut that across there and then come down, as you can see on the new rocker, it's got that piece built right in, which means whatever we cut out, we can weld the new piece in place. So I think that's what we're going to end up having to do is cut that whole corner section right out. I may even go so far as to cut this good section out here just because it will make it easier for piecing these parts together. So as good a shape as this thing is in, I mean at 43 years old, 42 years old this truck is, it's still prone to rust in the common areas and this is the common areas on these trucks. So I'm going to get to cutting those out and uh, we'll come back to you. So as it sits right now, we've got everything cut out on the pasture side that we need to get cut and we've run out of cutting discs. So I've got to run to Canadian Tire, grab some more cutting discs and we can come over and maybe even start on the other side. So let me show you how far we've come. We've got the cab corner all cut out here. We've got the rocker panel all cut out along here. And what we'll be able to do is take this piece that I've cut off and for the most part, just trace it on to the new one so that we'll know what excess to cut off. We'll do it for the front as well because I've kept this piece. Once, those, once the excess is cut off of the new rocker panel, we'll be able to lay it right up on top and get it tacked into place. And the same thing will go for the inner. That one's a little bit easier because, well, you simply don't see it. So I'm off to the store to grab some more cutting discs. So I guess we'll be back here shortly. Okay, so I've made it back from Canadian Tire. I've got my grinding discs. And what we're going to be doing now is trying to fit the new panels into where the old ones were that we cut out. Okay, so we've got our rocker panel all cut up to fit in the hole that we cut out as well as our inner rocker uh, which you can't see because it's kind of in behind there so let's take a look and see how things are coming now so now all we've got to do is get our inner and outer cab corner cut to fit and then we can start tacking these things in place for a permanent fixture. So that's all we're going to have time for for this episode. When we come back, we're going to be cutting out the cab corners and getting things tacked into place. So I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes of me just kind of, you know, monkeying around, doing things that I really don't know how to do, uh, but making do with the tools we have. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that air compressor is not enough air. And we talk about doing budget builds and, and where we can scrimp and save. Well, go out and buy yourself a junk air compressor and realize just how inadequate it truly is. It makes for a long day. Nevertheless, we've got this far and uh, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. But uh, when you guys pick up the video the next time, it'll be a different day. We'll be back here uh, doing some work. So I hope you guys will consider supporting this channel in more than one way, which is watching these videos. And that is by giving a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button and consider picking up some old car auto guy t-shirts. I've got four of them available on the website. 
which is the first link in the description box below. I have four t-shirts to choose from, which I'll flash up on the screen. The most recent one is the Dale T, which you can see there now, as well as the OG Old Car Auto Guy, the focus on the windshield, as well as the demise of bubbles. Guys, these t-shirts are very reasonably priced. I hope you consider supporting me and uh, helping to pay for this build on Project Dale. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next Dale video. I hope you guys... Uh, Wrong. So I hope you guys can consider... Wrong. So I hope you guys will consider sponsoring... Wrong. So I hope you guys will consider sponsoring... Oh my... Wrong. So I hope you guys... <laughs> I hope you guys will consider supporting this channel in more than just one way. Oh my lorda.